So hey, I hope y'all doing great on this lovely Saturday. I've been sick the last couple of days, but I'm feeling great and I'm feeling better. Still have a little throat problem, throat issue, but it's getting better. So I'm able to get some stuff done on today. So I am in my back room. If y'all hear some background noise, just try to tune it out if you do hear a little bit of that because I am in the process of moving. I think I mentioned that um, in a previous video, I think I'm in the process of relocating, so I'm not setting up any studio equipment or anything like that um, until I get to my next place. Um, how I decide I want to do my studio setup, but not going to do anything here, use what I have and use what I got. And that brings me into the encouraging words I have for you today. Use all that God has given you. Don't waste your time wrestling with you know, this, the voices of comparison and jealousy, you have to learn how to tune that out because God has given you things to do. He has made you with purpose. And one of the things that you do not want to do with your life is wasted. And I know sometimes when you think it's a small thing, it's a little thing, oh, that person, um, they was full of promise and they did all this, this and that. They never fulfilled their destiny. They destiny, they never did this or did that. But those are sad things to hear because when God has given you something to do, it's for a purpose. It's for to help this person. It's for to build this, to grow this. It's not just for, for nothing. It's not for nothing. And what made me think about doing this video is when I was reading the parable of the talents. Now, let me give you a little background, shorter version of you don't know. Parable of the talents, um, this is from Matthew. I'm reading a version from Matthew. And it's about this guy who went on this loan trip. And he um, left some of his money to his servants to trust his money and service. So he gave one five talents, gave another two talents, and gave um, the last one one talent. So the purpose for them is to, you know, to watch over it, to do something with it, so when he come back, um, that they'll have something to show for it. So when he didn't come back, he asked for a report. So a person with the five talents said, hey, um, you know, I did something with the five talents, I made 10. And his master praised him, told him, well done, my good, faithful servant. You are faithful in handling this small amount, and I'll give you more responsibilities. And let's celebrate together. So I'm reading out of their New Living Translation version for my Bible readers out there. So when he went to um, the next servant, um, he said, hey, master, um, you gave me two talents. And now I earn two more. And the master said the same thing to him as he said to the first one. Now, when he got to the last one, this one hit me the hardest. The last one had only one, but he didn't do a thing with it. What he did went and buried it. And what his master told him, you wicked and lazy servant. Now, if you don't think nothing from that, I really don't know what else to tell you. Uh, but... If you feel something from that, it should shake something within you. Wicked and lazy. They didn't do anything, you know, what was given to you. They didn't produce nothing. They didn't multiply nothing. Now, of course, on the other side, somebody may say, hey, um, Shakur, I think that was kind of unfair. He did give back what was given to him. Yeah, you can say that, but the purpose was to do something with that. It was to do something for it. What's the point of me giving you something and you never do anything with it? Never do nothing with it. Um, it's like buying my son a notebook. Okay, I, I bought his notebook to fill up with notes for his class. So to take notes. So what's the point of me giving him the notebook? He's not going to take the notes. I gave him the notebook with a purpose to take notes. So you won't be failing a test or upcoming um, assignments because I gave you something to help you within that class as a tool. So when it comes to talents and gifts, God gives us this for a reason. He expects us to grow. He, grow it. he expects us to multiply. He expects us to maximize it because we can be very well just saying prayers to God about certain things, we're asking God about financial breakthrough, we're asking God about this and that, and he already gave us the answer. It's within our hands, what he gave us to do. And you need to just learn how to work what you have, whatever you have now, because when you keep working, it's gonna multiply to this, it's gonna multiply something better, something bigger, and the resources will come, the people will come, any time that you need for it will come, but you need to work what you have now.
Stop looking at what everybody else is doing. Stop going through your timeline with this sad pity party. And I know it may sound a little tough, tough love, I guess I can say that. But stop doing that. You have talents, you have gifts. Use all that he has for you. For you. I said it, that he has given to you. Use all of it because you do not want to be at the end of your life, have nothing to show for it. I plan to die empty. I mean, everything that God has given me, I want to pour out there my life. I plan to die empty. I don't want to stand before God with nothing to show for it. And I also want to add this too. Make sure you have the right motive behind it. Make sure you have the right motive behind it. Um, because even by reading this story and looking at the wicked servant, um, I have to call him this now, his response to it. And I could just read that response quite quick. Then when he said, Master, I knew you were a harsh man, harvesting crops you didn't plant and gathering crops you didn't cultivate, I was afraid I would lose your money, so I hid it in the earth. Look, here's your money back. And that's some of us like that too, because we're afraid that you know, God, I don't know if I have like the status. I don't know if I have the confidence. I don't know if I have this and that to achieve that. But God has given it to you. And I noticed one thing also in this that He gave according to their abilities, according to what He has um has given them to do, according to their faith, their level of faith. And what I love about God is that He give it to fit you. It fits you well. It fits you well. All you have to do is work it. So I hope y'all have a great day to this mini, I guess mini Bible lesson. <laughs> so y'all have a great day. And also, if you have any thoughts, comments, feel free to comment below. Goodbye.